my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to digitize your DVD collection. Now as far as is this legal or not, as long as you don't redistribute it, you can make backup copies of your DVDs and you're just fine because you paid to watch the DVD. Just don't give anybody else your backups. So I'm going to use this program called DVD Shrink and it's really, really good for this kind of work. I've got my disk in the computer, so I'm just going to click Open Disk and select the, the drive that you want it to be in and say OK. Now, I had run through this before and it did something called analyzing the DVD. If yours does not analyze the DVD when you open it, come up to this button and push Analyze. And what it's going to do, and uh, it's already said that it's, it's already been fully analyzed, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. It's going to run through the whole movie and kind of look at where everything's at so that it knows better where things are and it will do a much better job when it copies the DVD and tries to compress it down. So I'm going to cancel out of this. You can take the, the disc and basically create a virtual disc with it. I'm going to instead take just the main video file. And the reason I'll do that is instead of having all the menus and the submenus and the French subtitles, which I'll never use, and just take up space, all I want is the video file. So instead of full disc, come over here to reauthor, and we're going to grab from the main movie just that title and drag it over here. <coughs> now right click on it, and you can set the start and end frames. So if you don't want to view all of the credits and everything, that's stuff that takes up space at the end of your video. So move that slider in a little bit, and then you can even select from different chapters and cut it off at the end of that chapter. So we're going to say, okay, that's, that looks pretty good. And also make sure that you set the default stream here and make sure that it's, it's really specified. A lot of them will have multiples and sometimes it will grab all of the streams. Again, that's taking up space that you don't need to worry about. So say, okay. Last thing you have to do is just push backup. And it's going to ask you where you want things to be saved. I've backed up one of my DVDs already, so it's defaulting there. And uh, you can create the, the subfolders and all and click OK. And it's going to start ripping it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that folder and show you what's happening. There it is. The video file is there and it will slowly begin increasing in size. It's a .vob. There are free converters that you can get online to convert that to any format that you need. Um, my computer will play it just fine the way that it is though. And this will back up your entire DVD to a single video file. I'm going to cancel real quick and show you one more thing. <clears throat> you also have, instead of the DVD browser underneath Reauthor, you also have this thing called compression settings. You can leave it to automatic, no compression, which gives you a really great video, but a really big video. Or you can manually set the compression ratio. If you don't know really what that means or how to adjust the settings, I recommend leaving it just on automatic. And it will also show you across the top the typical size of a DVD and how much of that space you're going to take up. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to digitize your DVD collection. I'm Josiah Ray.